When people think of tornadoes, they think of high-speed, damaging winds in the Midwest, where the wind speeds reach EF5 or over 200 miles per hour, the highest on the scale. Others think of Kansas, Wicked Witches, and how it was all just a dream. It's a twister! It's a twister! It wasn't a dream for Springfield, New Jersey residents after an EF0 tornado touched down right outside this now-condemned building behind a BMW dealership. On August 7th, earlier this year, an EF-0 tornado made landfall on the side of Route 22 East. No one was injured from the small tornado, but many were shocked and quick to capture it on social media from a nearby office building across the highway and in the neighborhood surrounding. One of the witnesses of the tornado was Gene Mosco, a general sales manager at Springfield BMW. It was scary. To witness a, a tornado was scary. I said, oh my God, and the only thing you seen was this big swirl of wind, and they don't come straight. What was shocking to many was that it is very uncommon for a tornado to touch down in the Northeast. The last tornado officially reported in Union County was in 1899 in Elizabeth, but there were already eight this year in New Jersey. Dr. David Robinson, the New Jersey state climatologist, confirmed that 2019 is already one of the top years for the most tornadoes ever to occur in the state. Tornadoes, on average, we get two or three a year in New Jersey. Scientists suspect the cause. The atmosphere is getting warmer, and so is the ocean. And in a warmer world, it's not only the atmosphere that's warming, it's the ocean that's warming. And that might, we might lose some of the advantage from being near the coast when the offshore waters are warmer. So the ocean tends to be the great modifier. It kind of takes the legs out under for the most severe thunderstorms. These severe thunderstorms have the power to create tornadoes, but a majority of them do not reach above EF1. Given the unpredictability of tornadoes, Robinson tells New Jersey residents not to expect the worst, but to be prepared for it. We know it's changing, but we're just not sure of all the details of what's going to happen. The Springfield tornado is a far cry from the yellow brick road, but it's going to take a lot more than a pair of ruby slippers to prevent more. Reporting from Springfield, Rebecca Service, Montclair News Lab.